You know, I never thought I'd see the day. I couldn't believe my eyes so bad that I had to get glasses. All right, what's going on, guys? It's Chef, and welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Beta. This is uh, basically day two now. Uh, this is the day where they're supposed to actually be raising the level cap up, but I'm playing a little bit before the update. It doesn't necessarily even really matter that we're going to level up here because going up to level 25 doesn't really unlock that much at least not sniping wise here look we go under progression core if we go up to level 25 i think it says so at the most we're going to be able to go and get smoke grenades sam turrets they're going to get this assassin perk which i don't recall seeing in the actual game enemies that appear on your mini map by shooting or when revealed by uav will have a crosshair indicator instead of a red dot if they are on a score streak receive extra score for taking them down that perk doesn't really seem like it's going to be very good but there's that people are going to be able to customize their craigs even though probably the default class has better attachments on it anyway we'll actually get tack mask and people will be using the war machines but we still don't have flak jacket i'm assuming up to 25 nope and then we're going to start seeing uh the 74u as well with tracker or people running the spaz then so when you go on to this progression thing though it actually shows all the progression i believe up to level 40 and then it stops there so i'm gonna assume that going even into next weekend this beta will We'll probably go up to level 40 maybe uh, so i've been actually playing 12v12 and uh i at the moment actually have probably the fastest pellington i can build at the moment there are two attachments that i still need to unlock that'll help with its speed a little bit but as far as ads speed uh this is the fastest pellington in the game i believe i got it up to weapon level 35 i saw a lot of people complaining about how long it's taking to actually level the uh weapons up and they're saying that oh it doesn't make any sense that it takes this long to level the weapons up because we're not going to be able to even you know have time to test up potentially broken attachment or something and i mean they're not entirely wrong it doesn't really make sense but i leveled up anyway uh, i got the weapon level 35 uh, yeah it took a while and it's still not even the max level that i can get on here i think the max here is like level 43 as far as an attachment goes maybe it's level 43 and it caps there i don't know so, uh this is my class setup at the moment i'm running the stabilize and by the way these glasses my vision is actually fine it's like half of a joke sort of i do need to take care of my eyes a little bit better but honestly is you know you run stabilizer just because on this game you're probably not going to have a whole lot of time to be like drag scoping and stuff you absolutely can drag scope and stuff because there is aim assist and stuff so that helps the stabilizer just helps with those you know nice pop shots you want to use this 21.7 inch overlord barrel just to get the highest fire rate that you possibly can on this pellington because you're going to need all the bullets that you can get especially considering most of them aren't going to kill them they're just going to hit mark the shit out of them i don't know what i titled this video but if it has anything to do with a hit marker i I was literally hearing hit markers in my fucking sleep. I almost turned the hit marker sound off. I was that annoyed. I'm not joking. I almost turned my hit marker sound off. Who even does that? People usually enjoy the sound of hit markers and, and actual hits. Because I know I'm not going to get that second shot off before I'm dead anyway. Uh, I don't use a laser. There's really no point in having an accurate no scope. If I take my time and hit someone center mass and I still don't kill them and hit mark them, what makes you think that I'm somehow just going to get lucky enough with a no scope? I'm not going to, I don't think it is worth it. I don't think that it will save me enough times to make it worth it for the other attachments that you can use. That's just my opinion. I think the laser is completely pointless on the Pellington unless they buff its damage. Pointless. Guaranteed hit marker. Complete noob trap. I could get all this extra move speed for what? So I can run faster into a 74U or MP5? The seven round magazine on there is just worth it. All it does is, you know, make your reload a little bit longer, but that's completely fine considering you have more rounds. Before the speed magazine was super busted on the alpha, but they brought it back in line here by taking down the aiming speed and I don't want to lose any aiming speed. It's not worth it at all. So we just go with the regular seven round magazine, just cut and dry. At the moment, I have my task force rear grip that gives the most aiming speed in its class here is the quick draw handle that has the 5% aiming speed with no drawback whatsoever but then you have this 10% aiming speed but it does have the drawback of hurting your sprint out but counteract that penalty with using a you know close quarters combat pad or the marathon stock and again i want to get this marathon stock because it's at level 42 that's why i mentioned the max level for the uh weapons anyway that's really what matters the only thing that i'm really missing is just like flak jacket or whatever it doesn't matter if your hip fire accuracy is bad if you play modern warfare 2 everybody ran around with ninjas our no scopes were not very accurate i mean there were a lot of little tricks and stuff like that to try to make them a bit more accurate and it seems like over the years it's just kind of gone away but yeah once i get this marathon stock and everything it'll be smooth sailing the fastest aiming speed in the game i'm assuming is 360 milliseconds unless one of these optics actually ads is a little bit faster but even when i changed them it still said that it was just 360 milliseconds even though these stats say things i'm not entirely sure if they're completely correct because i have a feeling that even the stats guys out there 
there, you guys are going to be looking at these stats, and there might be a point in time where you notice that a weapon might not be lining up exactly with what it's saying. And that's the class setup here. You could copy it if you want. That's the fastest ADS speed I can get at the moment with the Pellington. There's nothing else in the game that allows my aiming speed to go higher than 360 milliseconds. I, I go over the entire thing. You go over all of them. There's nothing that you can do that can actually make it uh, any faster than that. You can make it slower, way slower. I'm curious how slow you can actually make them overall. Yesterday's skill-based matchmaking was trending all over Twitter and stuff. Even athletes, celebrities and stuff, OBJ, he was like, bro, this Call of Duty ain't it. For me, I'm happy to have a classic Call of Duty experience back. As far as the radar and the flow and, you know, actual people pushing and everything like that. Yeah, that helps on here for sure, 100%. 100% the flow is already way better than Modern Warfare, even despite all of the sweatiness and stuff. Yeah, by the way, stims are broken. You can actually use your stim to get out of stun grenades on this game. If you time it correctly, if like if you see a stun about to hit you and you stick yourself right as it hits you or right after it hits you and your character doesn't have like that weird animation where their hand goes out sometimes anyway, where it disrupts you. Obviously you can still just be running tack mask or whatever, but stims are strong on this game. I mean, every single time I get a hit marker, honestly, I, I don't even know what to say. Some of my first experiences yesterday, literally, I, I don't know if stats carried over from Modern Warfare or from uh, the alpha to here or, or something, but... Fuck. Grenades are so strong, too, and I, there's no flak jacket, so... Everyone has danger close, so everyone's throwing, like, a million different grenades. It really is, like, it's got definitely got that classic COD feel, but I don't have the perks to defend myself. Yeah, that counter spy plane is super annoying, too. Super strong, feels like it stays there for, like, ever. It still didn't really get rid of that jetpackiness of the slide. I'm telling you, still, the, the movement just does not look natural, still. Also, there's some, like, weird stuff that goes on with the slide. Sometimes when you're, like, jumping and sliding, you can, like, do this thing where you can kind of slide like a bunch of times in a row i'm not really sure if there's actually a limit to how many times you can do it but there's this thing that you can do i don't know how i was doing it but there were times where i would be able to slide and when i was trying to slide cancel my character would actually slide multiple times and keep getting the boost it was really weird i don't know movement on this game a little strange Oh my... You don't see lineups like that and spawns like that on Modern Warfare. That's the type of shit I miss. Can I please get the whole team to spawn in a location for at least a small period of time, please? Instead of having this weird, just random, stagnated spawn thing, where they'll sometimes just spawn on the opposite side of the map for some reason. Oh, you're bad. If I gotta play like this, I will. Level up. Should be spawning here. The motorcycle guy. Another motorcycle guy. Oh! I have yet to actually be ran over by those motorcycles. I, I feel like it's super easy to shoot people off of those. It also is super jarring to see someone actually drive a vehicle at you on this game. It's absolutely terrifying. Why did it show that it- Yo, 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 am I going nuts? Did it just show it inside the building? I, dude, honestly, I don't know what it is about the grenade indicator on this game, but I swear, it's very obvious to see. 
but it's not clear about whether or not it's gonna kill me or not. I'm so confused half the time about it. Managed to actually go positive. I'm honestly surprised. But again, that's 12v12. If I had played that shit on 6v6, I would have been strategically spawn trapped, and I would have went probably like 17 and 38. Presser Pro. Yeah, also, it keeps saying that I'm unlocking certain attachments, but those are not the names of them. Suppressor Pro, that would mean that I guess I have the best suppressor now. Yeah. So they're considering it the pro version of the sound moderator. And by tomorrow, I'll, I, I mean, by tomorrow's video, I'll, obviously, I'll have all this stuff done. But in 12v12, 100% Cartel is the most yeah, voted for map. Every single lobby I get into, people have at least 10 votes on Cartel every time. It's so nice to see the lobby shift back and forth again and, and like picking the maps and everything. It's just, it's a whole aspect of the game that I just didn't even realize I missed. Going into the lobby and screaming at people to vote certain maps and shit. I was around the car! What? That's definitely 20 hertz. Honestly, would rather deal with that though than sweaty 6v6. Hey, I can live for counter if they have fucking 12v12. No, no, no. I'm not playing anymore.